We got uh, Trey listening from Alabama. Trey, welcome to the program. Thank you, guys. Um, I just wanted to get your opinion on the Apocrypha, the Lost Books of the Bible. Um, do you think that they're relevant? Uh, and if so, why were they left out of the, the canonized version? Okay, now, the word apocryphal, it can sometimes just mean the uh, what they call the intertestamental books that you would find in the Catholic Bible. That would be the Douay version. Uh, you would have Maccabees and uh, a few others. Um, Maccabees, for instance, has some good history, but it wasn't ever considered inspired writings or the Word of God. It just was some uh, history between of the war of the Judas Maccabeus. Um, okay. When you say apocryphal book, it means doubtful in its origin. There are some other books that have cropped up over the years. Someone said, you know, they got the gospel according to Mary and they've got uh, the gospel of Judas and the book of James. And, and um, these things just sort of appeared in history. One reason that they're not included in the regular canon of scripture None of the other Bible writers ever reference them. They sort of appear out of nowhere. But mm -hmm. when you're looking in the Bible, Jesus, do you know 10% of everything Jesus said, he's quoting the Old Testament. So we don't have any doubt about the books that Jesus quoted. Jesus said, as written by the prophet Daniel, and Jesus quotes Isaiah, and Jesus quotes Ezekiel, and Jesus quotes Zechariah. And the apostles often quote from the Old Testament. And the apostles even quoted each other. Jude quotes Peter. Peter quotes Paul. So um, they, they cross-pollinated. And, and they sort of endorsed the other inspired scriptures. But these apocryphal books, none of the inspired writers ever referenced them. And so it's okay. probably safer. Some of them might have great information. Some of them might, I mean, you know, you can read Aesop's fables and get some good moral stories. But it doesn't mean they're the word of God. So there might be some valuable lessons in some of the apocryphal books, but I wouldn't I wouldn't classify them as the unerring word of God. Okay. That's why most Protestants left them out of uh, the typical Protestant canon. You know, we have a book, and yeah. you might find it interesting, on the Bible. It's called The Ultimate Resource. And this for anyone wanting to learn more about the Bible, where it came from, how do we study the Bible, We'll be happy to send it to you. It's called The Ultimate Resource, and uh, just call our resource phone line, 800-835-6747, and you can ask for the book called The Ultimate Resource. We'll be happy to send that out to anyone who calls and asks.